Hello everyone, welcome back to The Limit of Artesian. My name is Gareth and if you've been watching our channel for a while, you might have noticed that we are big fans of the low powered open wheel cars on the service. The USF 2000, PM18, Formula Renault 2.0 and the IRO4, love them all. And also lurking in the legacy folder, there is also the Pro Mazda. Now this was made legacy before I joined the service unfortunately, but I have been taking it for a spin in a few places and I absolutely love it. So what we've put together for this race, and it is a race, we've got all of those cars together on the grid for a 20 minute race at Rudd's Kogan. So there's going to be a bit of a field spread between the USF 2000 and the IRO4 compared to the slightly faster Pro Master Formula Running 2.0 and the PM18. But let's get to the grid and see what happens. So here we are on the grid then, getting ready for a 20 minute race qualified second on the grid overall and second of the pro masters michael messenger on pole with a storming 16.5 i did a 17.5 he's on for a slightly better lap probably a 16.9 or something but <laughs> dropped it out of the final i have been gutted because that that's normally the corner i do really well at so jules sitting behind me in third 19-0. Sorry for looking around. I'm in VR. <laughs> it's still quite fun to do that. Uh, Dom in the Formula Renault 2.0. 19.2 for him. That's him in my rear view mirror. Then we've got Tony Dibden. TDI 99. He's qualified pole of the IRO4s ahead of Mark Innes. Andy Bootland from Tony's community. Got Troy Adams. Dan Shaw. Marin Hugovin. First of the USF 2000s. And Robert Watts. He's in the IRO4. Eric Pusey in the USF 2000, Sean Clark, didn't he set a tie? He did set a time, he's in the IRO4, and Steve Pepper looks like he didn't set a time. So let's get ready. Lights are about to go green. Decent start. Mike wants to come over to defend. Whoa, he's Dom has just had a missile start. Give him the space. Oh, that was Gavin knocking me. Looks like Tony's had damage. That sucks. Yeah, that's Marion Hoover, I think. Mark, I think you can't remember. Troy's had a problem, he's out. Somebody out the inside of... Whoa! Tried to send it out the inside of Mark and he said, no way son. He was going to let me have that. Being stuck behind these cars is... Letting Michael disappear up front. Great run out of the final corner on Mark. Oh, get real, Mark. Come on, mate. <laughs> Mark did not want that to happen. Six seconds behind Mr. Messenger, who's really found his pace through qualifying and is now flying. Trying to get on the back of Gavin. Jules, as we know him. There he is. Dom in the Formula Renault. I thought Dom's qualifying lap looked a bit slow. Well, he's outbreaked himself here. Fairly sure that the Formula Renault 2.0 would be capable of keeping up with the Pro Masters. So, as I said in the intro, this car is now legacy, sadly. 
depending on when you started on the service, you get it for free. I know that Dom, who started a bit later than I did, had, would have had to buy it. Um, it's not that much money compared to like a brand new car, but then if you can't get a chance to race it, then is there much point investing, dropping that money on it? The answer is sadly not, but I can tell you, it's a heck of a little fun car. It's a six-speed gearbox. And, uh, if you look up what sort of engine it's got. Oh, Tom's giving me the space. Oh, round to go. Nearly lost it there. Just held on to the car. So that whack I received between uh, Jules and Tony at the opening lap did take my wheels slightly out of alignment, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it too badly. Except Mr. Messenger now 7.2 ahead, which is an insane amount. And the Liberty of Atesian did race here in the Formula Renault, uh, sorry, the Formula 3 couple of rounds ago. Really good race if you want to go and check that video out on our channel. And uh, we have a mandatory pit stop because of fuel and uh, I did take tyres. Jules didn't take tyres and his pace fell off the cliff towards the end of the race and I was uh, nearly had him on the final lap. Sadly wasn't to be. I ended up picking up a drive through with a 1x in the final corner which is quite fun. Great racer. And if you've not driven Red Kogan yet, it's a brand new release to the service for season four, 2022. This currently is, uh, we're in week three at the moment, I believe. Of that season. So yeah, it's a free track and it's very low grip, tends to use your tyres quite a lot, so in a longer race than 20 minutes like this one, you might want to think about pitting for tyres, but not today. rear tyre on the grass there. It's absolutely bugged me. No one around me. <laughs> I need to use my quick repair. What a nightmare. I'll bet Jules is laughing his head off. <laughs> I know I will be. Don't do a Rob Miller and spin in the gravel trap. There we go. Oh, it's an agonising bit lane. Still 12 and a half minutes left, so I need to get going. <laughs> oh, what a silly accident. Slow stop as well. Oh, I'm going to get lapped. Look at this route. That's Sean Clark. One of the newer members to the league on a thoroughly nice bike. Don't 
start down the inside. So we've got this Eric just up ahead, just saw a flash of yellow. He's in the USF 2000. There he is on the main straight. Let's get after him. He's currently five seconds ahead. Mark Innes, about 11 seconds up the road. That might be a tall order, but we'll do our best. Through turn one. Feel the back end stepping out as you turn in through T1. Luckily, T2 is a right-hander after it, so you kind of inevitably grab it up. Ooh. This gear change will natural away. Turn three. Fantastic corner, and then straight into the braking zone for four. Don't hear that gravel again. That's where I killed myself a minute ago. It's a never-ending left-hander up here. Waiting and waiting and waiting until he can get on the power. I can't get away from me as I come through the final corner. It's quite easy to scoop it up with this car, and it's a bit like a, I keep saying to people, it's like a geared go-kart in a way. Because it's fairly forgiving. Maybe not quite as much as the, uh, the R04, which you can really throw about. As I said in our uh, R04 versus USF 2000 versus Formula Renault 2.0 video. Car's roughly on the same sort of pace, I'd say, as the Formula Renault 2.0. Maybe the PMA team. We didn't get any any takers for that in this race. Marion and Eric obviously opting opting for the lower powered USF instead. Done. That was the corner that kept catching me out in practice as well. Sorry Eric, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> up Eric on the run down to three. I see the USF 2000 and the PM18 kind of replaced this car. So it's perhaps not surprising that the PM18 must be on about on the same sort of level as this, whereas the USF slower two litre engine. More in line with the RO4. I'm all off the line. Dreadful, dreadful. So, why this video? Why are we showing this car if it's a 
something legacy and not available for the racing officials? Well, mainly because it's just a really, really fun, nice little car to drive and if you've not driven it and you own it, then I do recommend driving it, especially if you set up a race like we have here today. As you know, my philosophy is driving thing at least once. So you never know what you might end up falling in love with on our racing. My murder corner. I have two murder corners now. We've got time for that one. Ooh, a car up ahead. It's Robert Watts in the IRA4. And Mark Innes. We might be able to get two of them still. Still six minutes of this race to go. This track's really characterised by these lefts into long carousel corners. Got that one, T1 and 2, and then the one at the end of the lap as well, and then obviously the long carousel in the middle after these S's, which we're heading up to now. And it would not surprise you to know this is a track that's been touched by Herman Tilker, the uh, track designer of choice for Formula One. I do wish they'd let more people have a go though, it's nice to get some variety like we used to have with the older circuits. Everything starts looking quite similar when it's all done by the same guy. Sluggish couple of laps there, I need to get my finger out. Oh, big wobble. Rob there. And yours there, get me space, thank you, Rob. We might just have time to get out of uh, Mr. Innes up ahead. Five seconds up the road. Back into the 17, 17, 7 fun last lap. It's a bit more like it. See the pace difference now between the IR04 and the Pro Master. So we've just taken two seconds out, marking half a lap. Don't lose it. Yeah, definitely starting to feel a little twitchy now. Stop changing the brake bias.
Just trying to protect the rear tyres a little bit. Almost enough track. Hold it. Too busy staring at my relative there, running it into the road, into the limiter. Two gears in a row. Pretty shonky driving. Very light as it came in there. Gave me a little wake up. Not that I needed the wake up. Pepper hanging on in third of the Great Masters, doing a great job up there. Merrin just up our head in the leading USF 2000, just in front of Mark. You might be able to back your parent in there. Very close to that gravel that killed me last time. Excuse me, more. Got a dark bomb into the air, but this might be fair. Don't take a spot on this track. There we go. Mark's gone defensive. Oh, Mark, that's way too late. Oh, with the closing speed differential between these cars, that was terrifying. Oh, last lap was getting. Come on, Mark. <laughs> he just fighting me so hard, it's great. Great competitor is Mark. And you should check out his stream, I believe it's Minis23 on Twitch. Championship leader in a fantastic scrap with Tour Millar and his teammate all season long. Ooh, sorry. Sometimes the closing speed between different chassis really catches you out. Okay, no mind. <laughs> there we are then, P4 in class. <laughs> Spotter says you did really well. Well, hardly because I uh, put it in the wall. And then had a second spin as well. But that was a fun race. And a big thank you to Tony Dibden, TDI99 and Andy Bootland who came to join us. Mr. Parker, seems to be a menace. <laughs> oh, I'm flipped. <laughs> ah. Well, sitting upside down, that seems like a great time to end the video. So, thank you very much for watching. Come check us out. Uh, limitedbatesian.com, facebook.com slash limitedbatesian and uh, loa.social slash discord. That's it for our ProMaster video. We'll see you next time. Bye.